In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure the mail monitor for Trackit. Mail monitor is pretty powerful. You can do some things with it, monitoring multiple email addresses in Exchange Server, for example, and setting up policies to handle all of those types of emails and accounts differently depending on where the emails come from. But essentially what email monitor does is reads email that come into an inbox and generates work orders from those and then sends an auto response back to the user telling them that the work order was created successfully. So most organizations already have a help desk email account that they use for this. They just point this at it. If you don't, you can set up an IT help desk email account. So it would say, you know, IT help desk at mycompanyname.com or something like that. And then you can instruct your users to send their emails to it. So to configure the Trackit monitor, you go under Tools, Administration Console, select the Help Desk, select the Email Monitor node, and the first thing you'll notice under the no Email Monitor node here is a time interval. So it's set to 15 minutes by default, which is usually sufficient. You can lower it if you'd like, but keep in mind that Trackit's going to check the email account on that interval 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So if you set it for a minute or 5 minutes, it's going to be pounding your mail server every 5 minutes all day long every day. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, 15 minutes is usually sufficient. If you have stricter SLAs, you can lower that down. It, it's up to you. This log here will, will show you how the email monitor is processing emails. So if there's ever an error connecting to the email server for some reason, uh, you will get those types of errors in this log and you can investigate it by opening those messages and it'll have more details if there is an error. So moving right along here. The monitor configuration node is where you select the address that you want to check. So in my example here, I'm using Exchange Server. And under my settings, I've configured my server name, mailbox name, username and password. And I've clicked to test my connection, which has told me my connection is OK. And so now what happens is anytime an email comes into this desktop support email address in my Exchange Server, track it, reads it in, and creates a work order out of it. Now. This can be as simple or as complex as you need it, depending on your environment. What we do here for you is we create these email monitor policies. Email monitor policies tell Trackit how to handle these emails that come in. So there's a default policy that grabs any work order that, or any email, I'm sorry, that comes into this email account and generates a work order for it. You can tell it to send an auto response if you'd like, and you can configure your template for your auto response to be however you'd like to format it. You could tell it to assign these new work orders that come in to a specific technician. And you can even tell it to apply a certain work order template, which fills out a bunch of fields in the work order. Now this is the default one, so I can't edit any of these other fields. So I'm going to close out of this one for a moment and jump into the uh, other template here, or the other policy, I'm sorry. So here I'm, so I'm telling the system that this is a new hire policy and I am checking this desktop I'm checking for to see if the email came from this desktop support address so what you'll notice here is you can create aliases in your exchange server for different functions so you can create a desktop support alias a telecom alias maybe even a human resources alias so human resources at mycompany.com uh, you can create a facilities management email address whatever you'd like and when you create these uh, you basically just put in the email address and the username here and when you create them on your exchange server you create them as email aliases that all point to that one track it email account that we configured back over here under monitor configuration so all of these aliases that I've created point at my desktop support address so whenever people send emails to these other alias accounts they all end up in the desktop support account where track it can grab them and pull them into track it However, when Trackit pulls them in, it can tell what email address it was originally sent to because Exchange keeps that information. And so here, I'm saying that if I get an email that came into this email monitor account here, desktop support, that I want to send an auto response, assign it to human resources, and apply the employee new hire template. So this is a great way to handle all different types of emails from different users for different purposes around your company. So then you'll also notice here we have a rules section. 
there are some rules you can put in to ignore certain types of emails or, or you know, undeliverable responses or things like that. So these are pretty handy and you can configure those however you like. And you can configure for different senders or looking for information in subjects uh, or looking for certain types of text in a body of an email. And then here are work order status updates. This is the, um, you'll see here it mentions that email monitor policies can be configured to send the auto response to an end user. And this option shows you whether or not the auto responses will contain um, hyperlinks and allow users to append information back into the existing work order. So if the user sends an email to track it, track it sends the auto response back. If you would like to allow your users to be able to then reply to that auto response and append more information to their work order, you can check this box right here and it will do that. And uh, it should be checked by default. And some people don't want their end users responding by email. They want to then pick up the problem by phone. But this will allow them to carry on the conversation via email. And then you can select here which fields you'd like to show in the status update emails that go back out to your users. So that is configuring email monitor in a nutshell. Um, the email monitor policies can become as complex or can be as simple as you like. It all depends on, on your level of complexity at your organization and how you would like to uh, have these emails routed and handled. So I hope this information is helpful to you and uh, thank you for watching.